Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today from AliExpress and an unbagging to do today from Amazon. So I thought I'd put them both together as they've both arrived more or less at the same time. Uh, one of them is, well, the both bargains actually. Um, so we'll have a look at the a big parcel first. Um, I got an email from AliExpress. I used to shop with them a lot. And then a team who came along. And uh, I think everybody's been ordering so much from them and all their special offers and things. that I just got this little email saying I could order three items um, from AliExpress. And there were all these three special offers. And they were all like round about the £2 mark. And I thought, oh, well, I'll go and have a look and see what there is. And uh, yeah, I found three things that I liked and it was free postage as well. And they've pr come pretty quickly, um, I think in about 10 days. So obviously they're trying to fight back maybe with Timo a little bit. So I thought you might like to see what I've got. None of them are diamond painting, but uh, we'll see what I've got together. See whether you think they were worth the money. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to clear the house out and then I go and order these. But anyway, <laughs> so we have, oops something that's a little bit plush and a little bit squish and uh, something else that's a little bit well very squished and then a bag so what shall we look at first i think we better rescue this one first <laughs> this was the most expensive this was two pounds 41 and uh, yeah it's uh, a lot smaller than i was expecting but isn't that usually the case when you order things uh, from the internet? But let's have a look and see what we got. Oh, it doesn't want to come out. Come on. You've come a long way. And uh, you must be very, very tired of being squashed into this bag. And squashed you really have been. Oh, actually, it's uh, bigger now. It's out of the bag. And yeah, it's one of those little geese look or ducks. Is it a duck? I think it might be a duck. So, oh, and it's ever so soft. I wish you could have um, feely vision because <laughs> he's really, really soft and he's got like velvety, uh, sort of velveteen material on his little beak and his little eyes. And yeah, he's one of those big um, fluffy ducks. Or I don't know whether it's more of a goose with the long neck, but I know you can get white. Uh, ducks can't you with the orange legs i know i've actually i think is it the little um yellow ducklings that turn into the white ducks every now and again you'll just suddenly see a little tiny yellow duckling in amongst like the brown and yellow ones um yeah and he's got his little legs out the back there look but it's so so soft it'll probably end up actually uh, being with millie but i know you can get these that are like the huge ones you know really really big um, there's a fantastic unboxing, I think, um, either on YouTube or TikTok, where somebody gets one of these and it's really squished into a smaller package. And when they open it, it's absolutely a ginormous one. And it's for the dog and the dog goes running off with it. So, yeah, um, I think it's all fairly well put together and I don't think there's anything um, nasty in there. It's all okay i know um, sometimes you've got to be careful giving them to children or animals because i don't know that um, these will be to the ce standards that we normally have on uh, soft toys or plushies in our country uh, oh look at its little bottom its little tail and its little wings so it's even got the little flaps on its wings there look and its little bottom oh its little tail wonderful so yeah and the price of this one was £2.41 as I say so yeah I think that was worth £2.41 don't you yes I think it was worth £2.41 I think I'm well and truly worth £2.41 <laughs> so welcome to the UK hello thank you very much for coming <laughs> oh I think I would have liked a bigger one um, but I suppose, you know, they can only do them for a certain price. But yeah, it's actually, I think because his head's just slightly on an angle, he's just got a little bit more quirky expression. Yeah, if I put him straight, look, he's just slightly looking that way. So, oh, he's lovely. So, yes, I like that song. Okay. And the next one. This one is another little kitchen towel or bathroom towel and I've stayed on the same theme look and oh dear. 
<laughs> I'm afraid this one looks a bit like roadkill. <laughs> um, I think that's supposed to be his beak. Uh, yeah, this one was £1.59. I'll put a picture in of what it's supposed to look like. Um, I thought it would have like a beak sort of coming out slightly rather than... I suppose it's got its mouth open. Um, it actually looks better on camera than it does. But yeah, it's got a very, very flat head. I know it's a towel, so it won't have any um, sort of stuffing in it. Albeit my little sheep, if you remember that I got from Timo, the little grey woolly sheep, did have a little bit of... Uh, stuffing in it but yeah this one um just hasn't really got much of anything um it's got very very wrinkled feet <laughs> that's hysterical it's only got a face on one side as well whereas the sheep i got did have a face on both sides um it's got a little hanger so you can hang it up as a little towel just thought it'd be a bit of fun to hang uh, in the downstairs toilet as like a little towel not actually in the toilet you know in the little cloakroom where the downstairs toilet is um, just for people to wipe their hands on but no I don't think I'd dare put that out I think people would just say what earth is that it's got the little things for its head look little decorations but yeah <laughs> that's hysterical oh my goodness yeah that was a definite no got a one yes and a one definite no <laughs> And then finally, um, this is what they call a household medical emergency kit. Um, and it's supposed to be like a... <laughs> That's brilliant. I thought this would be quite good to put all like the um, sticking plasters and bandages and all the bits and pieces that I've got sort of in the top of the cupboard at the moment. But I've just read that. Is that not just the funniest thing to put on top of a little first aid kit? Can you imagine a paramedic running up to you with their first aid kit on the back and it says good luck on the back? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It's like, uh, sorry you're injured, good luck. <laughs> why would you put that on it i mean i can understand the little tablet on it you know that's fair enough um but to put good luck that is just oh really really funny uh the price of this one was one pound 59 as well so i suppose <laughs> actually it's quite a nice little bag um it's got two zips on it oh dear and it's quite deep so you can probably get a lot in here um yeah, I mean, it's a nice little bag anyway. Put the duck in it, look. <laughs> Put the duck in it to take on holiday. <laughs> oh, all right, okay, all right. Right, back to serious things, Liz. Oh, it's got lots of little pockets on it as well, so you can put your um, little your thermometer and all your bits and pieces in there as well. But, oh, that is just so funny. Good luck. Myself, grab the first aid kit. Good luck. <laughs> it says it twice. He's even got it on the little label down here as well. Oh, that's brilliant. But yeah, I thought this would just fit in the cupboard and I can just keep everything zipped up and clean. Um, it's like a satiny type material, but I think that will be sort of it's a wipe clean material. It's got a little bit of padding in the base as well, so. You know, if you put in um, a thermometer in, um, there's a little bit of pad in there to stop it from getting bashed or broke. So, yeah, but oh dear, that is just so funny. Oh dear, two of it. I think this is worth £1.59. I think if I'd have seen this, no, I wouldn't have bought it if I'd seen it in the shop because that is just, oh dear me. I suppose it's to do with the translations, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, to put good luck on a first aid kit, that is just <laughs> excellent. 
so i think really we've sort of like had a, a definite hit a definite miss and a definite well okay i mean to be fair i could even pick that out i'm gonna leave it on because it's just it'll make he'll be laugh as well he'll think that's really really funny we've got a very same sense of humor um and um, but if you didn't like it you can just unpick that um and just leave your little uh, lozenge tablet there with your little red cross on it but oh dear me but yeah that's sort of a, a good one it's just the wording on it's maybe not quite so good <laughs> Oh dear, I'm going to be giggling about that all day now. Right, uh, let's get back to uh, Amazon then and a little bit of diamond painting. And it's a little round package. And I think you can probably guess what this one is. I've been using my Vipon Gubbins. So yeah, I keep saying I'm not going to order any more. And then the special offers just keep on coming. Um, I did have one lady say to me, that uh, I'm enabling her now because uh, she's spending loads on uh, on Amazon now with the Vipon Coombs. But you are saving money. So I know you're spending money, but you're saving it as well, are you? <laughs> okay, and this one, as you can see, is a set of coasters. And it's 10 coasters, normally £14.99. Um, I paid £7.49 for these. And then they went down to £5.50 after I'd bought them. And then there was another um, one that was doing up to £7.99. So there were all various different prices on this one. Uh, I will put a link down below if I can. Um, but the offer may or may not be on. But there has been a lot of different offers on bookmarks, on key rings, on coasters, and even some canvases recently. So it's always worth checking out. V-I-P-O-N. Um, it's an app that you can get. I'm not affiliated. I don't get any commission. They don't know I exist. But I do just like sharing my special offers with you. Other than first aid kits with good luck on. And that squished towel and um, swans or owls. And a squished ducks. <laughs> okay, so we have all the crystals. Oh, and we've got an AB in this one as well. Very nice. Okay, with pen, boat and wax as normal. And this one is all sunflower themed. So we've got our little metal rack as usual. And we have a sunflower. We have a lovely butterfly in all the sunflower colours. We have another sunflower. We have another butterfly. And another sunflower. Oh, this is good how they've done this. They've put them one and then one. And another butterfly there and another sunflower and another sunflower they are all slightly different and another sunflower and another sunflower so yep ten all together three butterflies and seven sunflowers and they're quite a nice big round out of these so definitely these are a good size to use to put your mug and everything on um i suppose really these are okay as well these might be a little bit small um, depending on the size of your mug I suppose if it's big enough to go over the edges then it, it's not going to wet fall over but yeah and you will need to seal them so I'm not going to go too much into these because I've opened an awful lot of uh, these so far is that one the same as that one have I got two the same you have a look see which way up they go I think these actually might be two the same yeah, I have got two exactly the same. So, yeah, that sunflower one, they are the same. I think, yeah, that one's different and that one's different, but I have got two the same. But, I mean, it's a set, so that's okay. You can, see, you can sell them singly if you wanted to. Um, sort of what we've paid, about 80 pence each for them. So, if you wanted to sell them for, say, a pound each or one pound fifty each, I'm sure you'd get that. Uh, if you put them in a little packet, you'd probably get one uh, one ninety nine for them because they're very very pretty. And I mean, these you could even use them. You know, put a magnet on the back, use them as fridge magnets. So they're like little note holders, or you could put a little peg on the back so that they can hold little notes and things. And there's all sorts of ideas for them. You don't have to just use them as coasters. Uh, they are the wooden ones, and they are three layers all sandwiched together. So very very good. 
Okay, let's have a look at the crystals. I'm still laughing about that good look on that first day ticket. Oh, dear me. That's hysterical. Really, really funny. So, oh, we've got two. Oh, no, we've only got one. I was thinking that was the AB, but it's not. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different uh, crystals there. So yeah, that's is that both the same colour? They are, yes. Yeah, so that's your yellow, that's gonna be your main colour. So we have our standard silver, nice and clear and sparkly, a lovely bright red, and a very, very pale lemon, and that's your black uh, AB. Co uh, that's your AB coated black gem there. That's the greeny colour on them. And a couple of little greens there, just to give you a, a variation on the leaves. A lovely sunny orange and a little bit paler orange. And as I say, that's your main colour for your sunflowers, which is your pale lemony colour. And then we just have a little bit of a bronzy brown colour, which will be in the middles. So, yeah, very pretty. Another bargain buy. And these are a bargain. Uh, yeah, I don't even have to think about these. I must stop buying them. I've got so many. Anyway. Can you ever have too many was the question. Um, yes was the cry when I can't get them all in one box. <laughs> but I will be gifting them out. So it's not too bad, really. <laughs> Okay, so I've had uh, my lovely set of uh, coasters, which, yeah, real good bargain, like those. I've <laughs> had my first aid kit bag. Um, I've had my very, very <laughs> squished duck. Oh, dear. And then my lovely duck. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. I like this one. Oh, yeah, I think I'll be fighting Millie over that one. I think she'll be after that. OK, well, just a quick uh, look at some bargains. A uh, little bit of fun. Hope you've enjoyed looking at this with me. Uh, if you have, thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. I'll put the links to all these in the description down below. If you click on the more and then more again, it lists the full description and all my contact details and everything. And uh, if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now. What's that poor little duck ever done to you? Oh dear. Oh, poor little duck. He's nice and soft. Hey. <laughs>